Okay, watch my forearm muscles when my hand stops. See them tense up right here? They tense. So I'm going whack, whack. And as soon as whack, as soon as I get, as soon as I get that snap, the way I, the way I make the hand stop, I don't try to stop my wrist from moving. The wrist is loose. When I tense my forearm, my wrist stops moving naturally. So I go whack, way back, way back, way back, way back. So if I had a third hand, I could show you the ball. But what you're doing is when the ball gets close. When the ball gets to right where my foot is, you're going whack and hitting. What I'm doing is I'm starting much higher, and as the ball gets there, I move away, and then as it falls, I whack. So I'm getting whip, whereas you're just getting push, right? The ball comes, you see it get close, like right where this handle is, and you push it. Whereas I'm saying the ball is a little further away, and I go back and forward. So I, it takes more time. It's more difficult to time because you have to start that back and forward when the ball's a greater distance away from your paddle than you do if you just want to jab at it when it's close to your paddle. But that's the difference. When it's a little further away, you go way and forward, way and forward, way and forward. And that's what snaps that hand through.